Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Raquel and this is Rack Rex Art. And I'm excited that you are here today because I am talking about something that I think is extremely relatable to all creative folks. And that's just procrastinating. Uh, sometimes it can be so incredibly hard to start a project, even if you are really excited about it. I wanted to take some time to kind of like examine why that might happen to us and also share some of the tools and tips that have worked for me in, in getting over that. I am not someone who really struggles with coming up with ideas. There's too many ideas, but I do struggle with dragging my feet. And you know what? It doesn't have to be that way for me or for you. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do to keep things moving, keep things rolling. All right, let's go. one for overcoming that creative block. Tell yourself you're making something for someone else. I don't know what it is, but if I'm making a gift, it is a lot easier to start and it is a lot easier to get it done quickly. I think there's something about like the thrill of surprising a friend that is very motivating to me and it'd probably be motivating to you. So try it out. I've decided that this message in a bottle is going to be for my incredibly kind and sweet and inspiring friend, Sierra. I'm gonna write a super sweet message on the inside that um, she'll probably never be able to get to, but she can watch this video and know what it says. <laughs> I'm gonna give Sierra this as a birthday card. And personally, I find this message in a bottle to be more interesting than your average birthday card. <laughs> Tip number two starts with identifying the problem. What I like to do is write down the reasons I think I'm not starting or honestly, even just the reasons I might feel anxious about a project. I find that taking these ideas, these reasons for procrastination out of my head and writing them down helps me more clearly identify what they are. And once I have the list of <laughs> reasons I'm not doing anything, I can look at the list and decide, is this something valid that I need to pay attention to, that I need to do something about? Do I need to be a little bit more gentle with myself today? Or is it something that I'm blowing out of proportion in my own mind? And I think you'll realize that once these are written down in front of you, it's a lot easier to sort through this and kind of clear the water and get started. I hope one of these two tips kind of resonate with you and will help you overcome those procrastination demons and create all of the masterpieces you've been dreaming of. Before we go, I wanted to share one last like, kind of bonus tip, because I don't know if this applies to everyone, but I was recently diagnosed with a mood disorder. I've started tracking my mood. I made this little mood tracker and I'm gonna share it with my patrons actually, but I have found that tracking my mood and kind of accepting the days where I'm feeling really down or just not quite right has helped me feel a lot better about dragging my feet. Sometimes you just can't overcome every obstacle and that's okay. I think it's great to get to know yourself and to get a better grasp on your feelings and understand when it is a day to make a masterpiece and when it is a day to stay on the couch. Anyway, I really enjoyed doing this little bit of a different video and I hope you're taking something good and positive and inspiring out of it. And most of all, I hope to see you in my next video, my next live stream, or on Instagram. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Do you struggle with starting a new project? Do you find yourself doing everything except the one thing you set out to do? then procrastination might be right for you. Talk to your doctor before starting procrastination. Side effects may include nausea, anxiety, staying in your bathroom all day, watching exorbitant amounts of YouTube, finally watching The Wire because you heard it's good, calling your mom just to chat, refreshing Twitter just to feel angry about something, bone worms, pruny fingers and toes, and of course, hot tub foot. One more time, Raquel, you're almost got it. You've almost got it, my girl. My girl, you've almost got it. The cure, the cure to procrastination. You've almost cracked the case. I swear to God, if these machines outside come I'm up on my microphone, I'm going to be furious. Yeah. Yeah. You got this. Yeah, you got this. <laughs>